Hello all my dear students I welcome you all to Chakra Academy our today's topic is finding the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake it's a very important and tricky concept of your application trigonometry this type of questions create some problem in drawing the figure so let's first understand that how to draw the figure according to the data given in the question so here the question is the angle of elevation of the cloud is 30 degrees from a point which is 60 meter above the surface of the lake and simultaneously we need to see the reflection of the cloud at the angle of 60 degrees so that 60 degree will be angle of depression because you are seeing the reflection of the cloud which will be in the bottom part therefore 60 degree will be angle of depression find the height of the cloud from the surface of the water so let's draw the figure first and after that we will solve it by using proper trigonometric ratios so let's draw the surface of the lake first so this is the surface of the lake take a point which is 60 meter above the surface of the lake so you can name this as ab from this point a which is 60 meter above the surface of the lake you are seeing the cloud let's draw the cloud here so i am seeing this cloud you can mark this point as c now join it to the surface of the lake you can mark this point as d draw a line from a to here you can mark this point as e so our cloud is at a particular height from the surface of the lake now you need to take the surface of the lake as a plane mirror surface of the lake should be considered as a plane mirror so what will happen property of plane mirror is the object distance and the image distance are same so if i take this distance as x and ed will be same as ab which is 60 meters so this total height will be how much the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake 60 plus x now let's draw the lake with some water here now just now we discussed that the object distance will be same as the image distance because the lake surface will act as a plane mirror so let's draw the reflection of the cloud so if i draw the reflection of the cloud this distance if you mark this point as e this distance should be same as 60 plus x itself why again i am repeating object is cloud this reflection is the image so object distance and image distance should be same so we are seeing the cloud ka reflection from the same point so when i join the point a to the cloud reflection i am seeing it at which angle 60 degree and i am seeing the cloud at which angle 30 degree so this is the simple figure this is the first stage to solve this question that the figure should be perfectly correct the moment figure is correct the calculation is way simple you just need to apply tan theta in the triangle ace and apply tan theta in the triangle aed if so i mark this point as e again let's change it to let's change to this point as so in triangle ace you can write as tan theta So tan 30 will be equal to x by a. Then you can take which triangle in triangle this bigger triangle A E F. In this one you will write tan 60. So students see this bigger triangle. You have to be a bit careful here. In this bigger triangle triangle A E F, what is the total height? 60 plus 60 plus x. So this will be 120 plus x. And what is the base? So what is the adjacent side? A E. So if I divide both, if I divide one by two, it will happen. This is one by root three. This is root three. I'm dividing one by two. So one by root three divided by root three will be equal to. When you divide these two, a a gets cancelled. So it will be x divided by one twenty plus x. So one by root three and root three will become what? One by three. So this will be one by three equals to x divided by one twenty plus x. So when you cross multiply, let's cross multiply. I will do the calculation here. 120 plus x will be equal to 3x. So 2x will be 120. X will be 60 meters. So this is not our final answer. This is not our final answer. Read the question. Find the height of the cloud from the surface of the water. So height of the cloud from the surface of the water. So it is 60 plus x. So answer will be 120 meters. X is not the final answer. Be careful, students. Now, if they ask you what is the distance between the cloud and its reflection so what will be the answer 120 plus 120 can they ask us something else also yes they can ask you what is the distance between the reflection of the cloud and the point of observation point of observation is a here if they ask you this distance af how will you calculate this is 60 plus x 120 120 plus 60 180 correct so this is 180 this is 60 so you can use sin 60 sin 60 because sin is 
opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite is known to you, 120 plus 60, 180. So you can use sine 60 to calculate AF that I'm giving you as a task. Do write your answer in the comment box and share this important concept with all your friends and classmates. Prepare well for your board exam. I am with you. See you guys in the next video.